three daily habits that have significantly lowered my blood pressure. Here's what they are. Cardiovascular exercise is probably the most important. There's a good book by Peter Atia. He's a medical doctor that has a new book on longevity. I'll put a link in the description if you want to look at it on Amazon. It's really a fascinating book because he talks about cardiovascular exercise and how you should probably be doing it about three to four times a week for about 45 minutes for a total of three and a half hours a week. And so that's what I do is I get out four times a week and I ride my bike. Now, not everybody likes to ride bikes. Some people like to walk or run or row or treadmill or elliptical. It actually doesn't matter because your heart is beating at a certain rate. So the real question is how hard should we be exercising? And the answer is if you have a heart rate monitor, then the simple ballpark area is if you take 180 minus your age, that's around the heart rate at which you're getting the most benefit. Another old fashioned way of doing it is 220 minus your age and then take about 75% of that number and that will actually get you in the route ballpark as well. But the easiest way is to do what's called the talk test. So if you're talking and you can complete a sentence but you're a wee bit labored, then you're doing it right. So on my bike, I have a heart rate monitor so I can watch it so when I go for a bike ride, I'll notice that if it's anywhere between 128 and 138, I'm doing pretty good. Now the second and third thing that I do for maintaining my blood pressure are more at nighttime. So let's transfer over there. Let's talk supplements. Let, let me get in here. Okay, I'm going to show you what I have been taking. The main thing is some magnesium supplements and this is the one that I like and you can take whatever one that you like but I have found that this helps me the most it has seven different types of magnesium in them I'll list them right here but I take two tablets at nighttime before I go to bed and it's so simple and it helps me sleep one of the most overlooked things when it comes to controlling your blood pressure is getting enough rest and it's during the night that our body recovers. And so I have found that the better sleep I get, simply the better my blood pressure is. So I'll put a link down below to the one that I take. It's called Magnesium Breakthrough from Bioptimizers. So the very last thing that I do before I go to bed at night is I will just sit here on the floor with my back supported and just simply take about 30 deep breaths. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll just put a foot out and stretch my hamstrings or something like that, but I like to mentally try to relax and relaxation or meditation, deep breathing exercises can really help control your blood pressure. I know it does mine. So I simply inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, and I just do it in a very deep, slow, and controlled fashion. So I just go. As deep as I humanly can. And I repeat this for about five minutes before I go to bed. And I find that it helps me sleep, once again, just like with the, all the magnesium that I take. And it helps me relax and calm down through the day. So hopefully this helps you in your journey towards lowering your blood pressure and controlling it. I know these three things done daily have helped me, so maybe it will help you. Mm -hmm.